Okay, here's a problem from the world of graph theory. It's called the utility problem. Now the problem with setting puzzles in graph theory is they're usually either trivial or impossible. And this is one of the classically impossible ones. So what we had to try and do is we've got three houses, we've got three utilities, gas, electricity and water, and we have to connect out through pipes and wires and things each of the utilities to each of the houses. So if we, uh, but, when we're doing this, we're trying to do it so that the things don't cross each other. In the terminology of graph theory, we're trying to make it a planar graph, i.e. one that flats, uh, lies flat on the plane. If we give it a go, we could have to get us go straight there and straight there. Might go around the electricity to go to that one, just to not cut the electricity off as much as possible. The electricity we can get going, so we could go to that one and that one easily. And you can go through that gap up there to the first house. Now we get to a problem with the water, where it can go to this one and around to this one, fine. But we have to try and connect up this water to the middle house, and there's no way of doing it without crossing at least one wire or pipe or whatever they are. This house is completely contained within these, and this water is outside the barrier. Now we can do it with only one. If I got this around here, so we could then have one crossing here. But there's no way of doing it with zero. Now, this is a classic problem to, for people try, to try and do. Um, if you have only two houses and three utilities, you can do it. Um, but from three and three upwards, we can't. There is quite a neat way around this, a kind of cheaty solution. If you imagine we could dig a hole um, through our whiteboard here, and we had, instead of this crossing point here, we dug a hole here onto the other side, we dug a hole here onto the other side, and then on the other side, we, with our two holes, we connected them up like that. Then we get round it. Now that's not possible on, this, on a planet uh, like we live on, which is spherical, which has just the same structure as this piece of paper. If you imagine going off this side and coming back on this side, and going off this side and going back on this side, it, it can just wrap around to be a sphere. It's the same problem if we were doing it on the surface. But if we dug a hole through the planet, then we can do it. So, for instance, this thing here is uh, the utility problem. So I've got three houses, one, two, and three. I've got three utilities, one, two, and three. And now it is possible. Um, so some of the things had to go through holes but tracing them around, each of them matches to each other, and it is possible. Um, doing four free still isn't possible, and so everything above that isn't. Um, mathematically, we call the shape a torus. I'm using a bagel here. Um, but a lot of the things that we prove for graph theory are only dependent on the shape that we're, putting the, we're embedding them on. So if we do anything on paper, that's the same as talking about if it was on the surface of a sphere whereas we have completely new numbers of things when we're trying to do it on a bagel. If I just show you one more example of this, let's turn it over. A complete graph is one where we have some number of points and every point connects up to every, uh, every other point. So for example, the complete four graph, which we call K-fold, is well, we could join that one to that one, that one, and that one. This one's already connected up to the top one, so it could go down here, around like that. And then this one connects up like that. Each of the four points connects to each of the other three. If we try and draw the K5 graph, it's not possible. One, two, three, four, five. We can draw the points wherever we want. I might do the ones around the edge to start with. That's all fine. Could have that one there, that one there, that's all fine. Uh, that one will have to go around the edge, and now we've got one that we can't do. One here, trying to join to this one here. Oh, there's a few. So we can do that one as well. That's done. So this one here has to connect to this one here, so we're going to need at least one jump. Um, but, once again, if you're doing it on the surface of a torus, if you're drawing it on a bagel, we can do this. So if you imagine the hole here and the hole here, we can draw this on a bagel shape. Um, K5 
K6 is not possible on a bet eagle. So six points you can't do. So you just have to learn new numbers when we're embedding in higher things. One thing which uh, starts to get a bit mind, belt, uh, mind melting is if you start acting with double toruses, ones with two holes, and then upwards, three holes, four holes, and that sort of thing. I'm trying to find the new number of points that we can connect up. It gets quite hard to imagine. Cool.